All right, I'm back. Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, I got my tractor about three years ago, and first time I took off my back hole, everything went great. And then when I went to put the back hole back on, all my hydraulic lines were under pressure. What I didn't realize at that time was I was supposed to release all the pressure off the the lines before I just take it apart. So uh, I went online and I saw how other people did it to release the pressure and that. And I didn't think a whole lot about it other than uh, just recently Dave knows how put out a video on how to release the pressure on the hydraulic lines. And it got me thinking that uh, if you haven't seen his video it's really informative. Uh, what he does, he uses a dowel or a brass or a piece of round stock puts it in there and hits it with a hammer but he puts a rag over it because this is under pressure and it, uh, you're liable to pierce your skin with it and then you're in real bad trouble so you want to put a rag over it put your dial in there hit it with a hammer release the pressure then you can attach it well like I say I didn't think anything about it for three years and after watching Dave's video I figured out I'll make a useless tool so that's what I did. I'll show you what it is, and then I'll explain how I went about making it. All right, what it, what it does now? What you do? You take it and you 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 put it in on there like that, and then you sit there and turn on the screw down until it takes that little valve in there and depresses it. Now the other thing I, I like about this is if you hold it like this away from you and you depress it and uh, if any of the hydraulic fluid comes out there's a little gap probably about a eighth inch not even that a sixteenth maybe right here where the oil will come squirting out, squirting out and it will squirt away from you. It's still a good idea to put a rag around it also but uh, that's one of the safety factors on this thing here and uh, this is my uh, to check my hydraulic pressure I put this together myself it's a whole lot cheaper you can go online and uh, I think it's 25 bucks is what I paid for the whole unit put in put assembling it alright so uh, what I started off with this is a a nipple here and I cut this section here out this was a complete section until I cut it in half and then this here this is a one inch diameter on on the inside there and then uh, this is a one inch OD on this and I did the same thing as a short nipple something like that and I cut it in half and then what I did to Get this, get this part here, in here. I just took this and I, I welded it on there like that. I don't know if you can see that. And the uh, thing was the way I got my measurement was. Oh, hold on. I took this and I put it about, about a little between about three sixteenths of an inch above this unit here and then I took then I took this and slid it in there like that that gave me my dimension from here to here and then I welded this in place and the reason the reason for this unit here is when you put it in it keeps oh, let's see it holds this in place so this can't go this way here so when you crank down on the screw here you're it's going to stop this from going down and in turn it's going to depress the the what the rod in there I forget the name of it so uh, I, like I say it's probably a useless tool but uh, I just wanted to throw this out there I had fun making it something different keeps my mind a little sharper than what it is so as always my videos are free 
Thank you for watching.